We have a very exciting episode for you today, talking about this absolute monster of a plant behind me, the loofah plant. Now, the loofah is what you actually use when you take a shower to clean yourself. I know, that's exactly what it is. It comes from a plant just like this. It is a member of the cucumber plant, and it grows a lot like a cucumber, except way, way, way bigger. I've got, I believe, four plants here, and you see behind me, it is just completely taking over all the way through. I'll show you in a minute, but all the way, the entire side of the fence here, far outside the camera angle on both sides, over into the neighbor's yard on the other side of the fence on this side. It is going everywhere. It is absolutely uh, a thrill to, uh, really fun to grow just because of how absolutely huge it gets. Um, but before we get started in this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. It helps out a lot. And also, you definitely want to subscribe because in a few weeks when we have enough of these ripe, we're actually going to be pulling them off and doing a video on how to take the actual plant, the fruit itself, and turn that into an actual sponge that you use for a shower. So that's definitely the most exciting part. This video will just be talking about how to actually grow the plant. So as I said, this plant is part of the cucumber family, and so it's going to grow a lot like cucumbers. It's going to be trellised up, and all you need is some uh, basic type of trellis, and it will immediately start vining up, and it will go crazy growing everywhere. We have our vines, just like this one here, which has all the little tendrils going out, and it grabs everything, including your plants and trees and every little thing. Now, it's actually funny. The I have a little like four foot trellis behind here that you can barely see the white one that I used to initially trellis it up because that's all I had at the time. And with COVID going on, I wasn't going to go to the store if I didn't have to. This is just a remnant from a different trellis that I use my, for my blackberries. But just at that start, they started going crazy and they started growing everywhere. Now, for growing them, even though they do grow like cucumbers, one very important and really the only thing that you really need to know uh, special on growing these is how they grow. So when you start these, you will not get a lot of loofah plant or loofahs um, initially. These are very, very slow growers. If you're somewhere um, more in the northern states or somewhere where you don't have as long of a season, it'll be a lot harder and you'll have to start these inside a good month or so beforehand um, as in, in little seed trays before playing them outside because you need a really long growing season. Here in Texas, we have a really long one. Even though now it's already September, we still have two, three months before we're going to get a frost. So we have plenty of time. But what you'll see is you'll have flowers coming out like crazy. You'll have flowers everywhere. And all those flowers are going to come out. They're going to die. You're not going to have any fruit. What's happening is those flowers are basically testing to see if you have pollinators. And once enough of them start getting pollinators, then you'll start having the actual correct flower, the other flowers coming out, the female flowers, which will actually then start producing the fruit. And so I will get back over here, try not to step on my plant too much and show you, we've got multiple of these, but I'll show you a ripe one before we zoom in. We have as an example right here. Now, as you see, we still have flowers everywhere. Some of these are male flowers, some are female flowers. We still have flowers everywhere that are going to potentially produce but it is very easy to think you're doing something wrong but you really aren't it's okay i mean i had a good month or so where i had just flowers everywhere and none of them actually set fruit and now the majority of these flowers are all setting fruit and i've got eh, honestly they're everywhere i got loofahs everywhere more than enough another thing is that this here is four plants but you don't need four seeds. If you're just doing this for yourself as an experiment or whatever the case is, you could eat these or you're going to use them to actually make um, loofahs for the shower. Um, you don't need four plants. This is four plants. You could, eat, I could have easily done one and have plenty because um, this is really starting to produce, produce a lot now uh, that it's actually started to get going. Now, as far as soil and fertilizing, you really don't need anything special. My garden beds here are all peat moss and compost. Um, that's all I have in them. It's peat moss, and, uh, peat moss and compost, and it works well with all my plants, including this one. As far as fertilizer, it's the same thing I use for everything. Anything that flowers, I use Master Blend. It is high in potassium and phosphorus, low in nitrogen, and that promotes uh, flower growth and helps the flowers set and produce fruit. If you have something too high in nitrogen for uh, plants that produce flowers, it could actually kill the flowers. Um, but that's all for that aspect, and you don't need to prune these or anything. Just let them go. Um, if you have limited nutrients in your soil, um, you could prune them after you get a few, like you would watermelon, if you get a few fruit uh, down the line on that one line, you could prune it. But 
I haven't needed to. I added my fertilizer, my compost is fertilizer as well, so I don't really see a need to prune them. So coming into the garden bed here, you can see how absolutely massive this lupa plant is. It has taken over the entire section there for, it's probably about 10 feet long where the lupa plant is. In addition, you have it coming down here on this side of the garden bed. It was trellising all up the trees. When I had my shea cloth here, it was trellising all around that as well. All to the side there. This is actually in the neighbor's side. When I try to pull it back over a few days later, it's right back again. And then you see the same thing here. It's all in the ground over here. And it's funny, just having the fence to grab onto, it actually trellises uh, just fine. And it's actually on the other side of my fence over here. Again, this is for plants. You can see, if possible, you definitely need a much bigger trellis than I have here, but it's okay. Honestly, in the winter, cleanup is gonna be interesting um, because of how many vines I have here. But if you have it, you can grow these on a grape arbor. That's really probably the best solution, but you really need, if possible, um, a massive trellis or at least a lot of fence space uh, to grow this plant on. Just here in the grass, this is a good example of one of the loofahs here. You can see how absolutely massive these things get. They are honestly huge. This is not even the biggest one. This is just the first one here I saw to, to come show you. Um, and you can see here how huge it is. If you actually want to eat it, you don't want to get anywhere close to this size. You want it much smaller, about half the size here and about the same length, but you want it a lot smaller so it's not so tough. We're actually gonna leave these on until they completely go brown, and when you shake it, you'll hear the seeds inside. That's how you know that they're ready to harvest if you wanna actually make um, an actual loofah that you use in the shower. But we'll talk about that in the next video. Here we have another loofah. This is a lot closer to the size that you'd wanna pick it if you wanted to eat it, but still, honestly, a little bit too big, but it's still a much less mature one. And then, actually, if you can come over here and see, there is one right here that is getting closer to ready to harvest. You probably can't hear from there, but if you shake it, you can just barely see, uh, hear the sound. Um, and so we're probably not going to be ready yet. We really, in reality, aren't going to start harvesting these until the actual plants start to turn yellow and, start, uh, and completely stop producing and they start to turn yellow. Um, Wow, there's a huge one up there. I'm trying to get up here without um, stepping on any of the plants because they're so large, but there is an absolute behemoth right there, if you see right here. That one is a good, probably 24 inches long and about four inches in diameter right there. That is absolutely huge. Here's another example right here of another one about the size of the first one. And there is another one up here. It really is impressive how well this plant really holds on um, to everything. Because again, this is not even on a trellis here and it is, <laughs> it is really holding on well, really with as heavy as these fruit actually are. Here's another example of one that got pollinated and you see it's actually doing well. And it is growing out right here. And from here, just honestly in a few days, it will be much, much larger. And here's a pretty good example of the size where you would want to actually harvest it if you wanted to eat it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I've answered any and all questions you might have on growing loofah, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this absolute monstrous of a plant, and hopefully you'll try to grow one too. And if you want to actually grow these, if you will comment below and let me know, I can send you some of these seeds so you can actually grow it as well. Like always, please like below, comment, subscribe so you can see more content. And like I said previously, we will be doing a video later on how to actually um, harvest them and then how to prepare them as loofahs for you to take a shower with or whatever you want to do with them. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a good day.